As part of measures aimed at saving future generations from resource scarcity, the Lagos State Government is set to fully implement ongoing discussion on circular economy geared towards turning waste to wealth. Governor Babajide Sao disclosed this at the formal launch of Circular Economy Hotspots in Lagos at a conference organized by the state government in collaboration with the Circular Economy ne Innovation Partnership, CIP, and the African Circular Economy Network held in Lagos. Plus TV News correspondent Lavi Kokoyodoku tells us more in this report. Gathered in this hall are world-renowned experts and delegates from business, politics, science, and public institutions. They are here deliberating on secular business models, strategies, and approaches from respective host regions and cities. The event provided an avenue for exchange between international industry counterparts to drive the regional and global development of secular economy. Governor Babajide Sawonlu, in his keynote address, expressed commitment of his administration towards realignment of the linear system to a more sustainable and resilient secular economy based on sharing, reusing, and recycling of existing materials. To demonstrate our commitment, a technical working group on secular economy was constituted in 2021 and set up project targets, coordinate and facilitate the development of a circular Lagos project, supporting and monitoring projects implementation. In addition, we have established an interactive web-based citizens engagement dashboard called the Wheel of Progress, which is designed to measure the level of implementation and the impact of every plan, every program, every project of this administration. Sawonlu so is optimistic that the circular economy would transcend Lagos, the country at large, and the entire sub-Saharan Africa. We had a roundtable discussion with the World Bank where a strong platform has been designed on ways in which we can improve the livability standards of our city, on ways in which we can keep this city to become very resilient and very sustainable in a way and manner that it can continue to compete very well with cities of this size around the world. In his welcome address, the Permanent Secretary, Office of Environmental Services, Ministry of Environment and Water Resources, Gaji Tajudin, described circular economy as a beacon of hope in the face of rising environmental difficulties and the depletion of the natural resources. The ideas of the circular economy, ladies and gentlemen, are strongly anchored in the concept of restorative practices, in which waste becomes a resource and efficiency is the rule. We, minimize, we may minimize environmental effects, reduce greenhouse gas emissions, and protect natural resources for future generations by implementing circular solutions. On her part, the Permanent Secretary, Office of Sustainable Development Goals, Lagos State, Abosa de George, noted that the circular economy is a new norm where sustainable and affordable clean energy is a way to go. What are we saying? Everything is reusable, depending on whatever you want to do about it. And we're talking of Goal 12, which is responsible uh, consumption, production and consumption. That's goal 12 of the SDG goals. So it is high time we start thinking of uh, responsible consumption and at the same time, responsible production. The event, first of its kind in Africa, provided avenue for talented Nigerian and African innovators to showcase groundbreaking innovations and initiatives. Love Ikuku Oyedoku, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.